So this is the question that we just looked at in the YouTube video. And I want to remind you that we know that the X is equal to seven. We know that already, okay? And so what did we do to the X? Well, we multiplied the X, which is seven. Seven times two gives you 14. And then we added five. So 14 plus five gives you 19. What we want to do is we want to un do what I did to X. Well, I want to go backwards and take away all the things that I did to X. So what I'm going to do is I took my seven, I multiplied by two to get 14, and I added five. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pretend I didn't add five. I'm gonna take away that five. And if I do that, this cancels out, and I'm left with two, x is equal to 14. So I took my number, which I know is seven, and I multiplied it by two to get 14. I want to undo that or go backwards. So I want to do the opposite of multiplying by two, which means I want to divide by two. And so that means that x is equal to seven, just like we knew we should get but this is how you do it with algebra. the second question from the video. This time we started and we didn't know what the X was at the beginning, but we can find out because we knew, know we took the X, we multiplied it by two, and then we added six and we got 28. We know that we want to undo the things we did to X and go backwards. So if we took X and multiplied by two and then added six, we want to undo the adding six, so I'm going to subtract six. These cancel out. And I have that two X is equal to 22. So now I have this X, the number I don't know, and I multiplied it by two and I got 22. I want to undo that or go backwards. So I'm going to need to divide by two. So my X will be 11. Now let's just check to make sure that works, okay? If I wrote my equation, 2x plus 6 is equal to 28, I know that my x is equal to 11. I know that this number was 11. If I have 2 times 11, that gives me 22. 22 plus 6 gives me 28. So this is correct. My algebra is correct. So let's try this last question together, and then I'll leave you with a couple to try for homework. So here I started with an X. I multiplied it by five, and then I subtracted three, and my final answer was 47. I want to undo the things that I did to X. So I took X, I multiplied by five, and then I subtracted three to get 47. So first, I want to undo the subtracting by three. If I undo subtract three, I need to add three and these would cancel out. And then I have five X is equal to 50, which is good because now instead of doing two things to the X, here I had multiplied by five and subtracted three. Now I've just taken that X, the number at the beginning, and I've multiplied by five, and X times five gave you 50. So now we want to undo that. So I'm going to divide by five, and your X 
is going to be equal to 10. And it's always good to check your work, check to make sure that the X you get is reasonable. So I have, I started with 10, I multiply by five, and I subtract three. 10 times five is 50, 50 subtract three is 47, just like it says it should be. So our algebra was perfect. Okay, try the next two questions, add them to your assignment. If you want me to check them today, send them to me by Instagram or WhatsApp or email, and I will check them to let you know if you are on the right track.